Welcome to the 10-Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And in this video, I'm continuing my series called Odd on Purpose, where I look at these weird things that I do and try to see if there's a reason behind why I do it. And one of the videos I did was on why I wear the same outfit every day. So I wear a blue check shirt and jeans and this hat, and I wear it pretty much every day. But if you look at some of my videos, sometimes I'm wearing pajamas. You know why? That's because I start work every day in my pajamas. And let me tell you the reason why. So this is a pretty recent development, only starting this year, by the way, and I think I like it. But here is what my morning routine used to look like. So I used to start my morning after I took care of the biologicals. I would go ahead and work out. Then I would take my shower and then I do prayer and devotions. And by then I would be about ready to start the day by 7.30 or 8 o'clock. So earlier this year, I watched this video by Ryan Doris, and it's on getting to work one minute after you wake up. And I don't think that's realistic for me because it takes me a little longer to get going, I guess, but it takes me about five minutes maybe. So anyway, after watching that, I did become convicted because it I remember there was times when I would go to work early in the morning, like as soon as I get up. So I'd get up, get changed, be at work by maybe 5.45 or 6 o'clock whenever I had something really important to do that I didn't want any interruption. So I'd usually get about two hours of work in before anybody else came into the office. And it seemed like I would do like eight hours of work during that two hour time period. And so I thought, okay, why don't I just do that from now on? Why don't I just set time aside where I could really focus and really knock things out early in the morning when I'm thinking fresh instead of using that time um, to exercise and get ready for the day. So anyway, I've been doing this now for about three or four months and it really is a game changer. So it really has affected it. So now my normal schedule is like this. So what I'll do is I will wake up early in the morning. It takes me about five minutes to get downstairs. I, if, if things go, here's the caveat. You need to plan out your day ahead of time. So what is that most important task that you need to work in? You can't go to work early in the morning and then start planning your day then. You need to plan your day the night before, at least whatever that most important task is. So if I have my most important task, then I can go ahead and hit the ground running and knock that out or make good good progress on that. And then usually around 7, 7.30, I'm ready for a break. So then that's when I normally exercise. You know, So I'll lift weights or I'll maybe go for a walk or something like that. Then get ready for the day. And then I'm ready for kind of more your typical day where I'm more open to interruption. I can do things that don't take quite as much concentration and uh, then I also had to do this. I had to give myself permission to not work late or to the usual end time. So normally I used to work until about five or six o'clock. And now to say, OK, now instead I'll work until about three or four o'clock because I'm starting at around 530. So that was a little bit of adjustment. But so those are my two big takeaways, by the way, is uh, giving yourself permission to not work until 5 p.m. if you're used to doing that. And then also making sure that you know and are planning for what your big task is. So what are you going to be working for? Uh, don't try if you if you try to wait until 5:30 to figure out or wh whatever. Wh whenever you start getting going, if you try to wait until you wake up to figure out what you're going to do, um, it's not going to be nearly as productive either. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Um, again, the key takeaway for me is this, is that don't put self-imposed barriers in the way of you doing your most important work when you're at your best. And for me, it was that idea that I had to do all these things before I started work or that I um, had to start work at eight o'clock, even though I was at my best around six o'clock. So those were self-imposed barriers. Nobody was telling me I couldn't do that. So think through that and hopefully this is helpful. Till next time, God bless.